Do you want to know how to stop sharing location on iPhone without notifying anyone or without getting caught? If yes, then in this video, I will show you three different ways to stop sharing location on your iPhone. First two are pretty common. They work, but there are major cons associated with these methods. The third one is kind of pull through and it will enable you to stop location sharing on your iPhone without anyone knowing. So without wasting any time, let's get started. Now we will talk about three methods that an iPhone users can use to stop sharing location on iPhone. Method one, turn on airplane mode on your iPhone. For this, swipe down to open the control center on your iPhone and then turn on the airplane mode. This is the most obvious and simplest workaround to stop sharing location on an iPhone. It definitely works, but the major downside is that you won't be able to use your iPhone for calling, messaging, and so on. Even if you're okay with that, there are ways that the other person will find out that you have done something to turn off location on your iPhone. When you use app like Find My Friends to share your location with other people, People tracking you via Find My App will be able to see if your location is up to date or not. If your location services are enabled on your device, they will see the word now or live along with the place you're currently at. But when you disable location by turning on the airplane mode, they will see the last place where you were before turning on the airplane mode. For example, it will show you were at the XYZ place around 30 minutes ago. And by this, the person tracking you will get the idea that you did something to sharing location on your iPhone. Another issue guys is that all the calls will go straight to the voicemail when you turn on the airplane mode on your iPhone. This is another easy way for someone to guess that you have intentionally stopped the location sharing on your iPhone. Method 2. Disable location services on your iPhone. Go to settings privacy and security and turn off the location services on your iPhone. You can disable the location services on your iPhone to stop sharing your location on iPhone apps like Find My, Live360, in Snapchat, and so on. But again, if someone follows or tracks you via apps like Live360, they will know that you have disabled the location sharing on your iPhone. So guys, to prove my point, so I have my Android and my iPhone in front of you. So uh, I use Live360 to track both of my phones. So I'm going to show you in my Android. So I'm going to open Live360. And then as you can see right here, I have James iPhone, which is this iPhone. So I'm tracking the location of this iPhone. So, and then you'll see that um, James iPhone, it's at home since December 31st, 2023. But if I go to my iPhone and then I turn up the location by going to settings and then go to privacy and security, turn off location services. And then when I go now to my Android in my Live 360, so and then you'll see in here. Then I click this refresh. Then you'll see now here that the location permission is off since 3.49 p.m. And it was like five minutes ago because I just showed you guys that I turn off the location services on my iPhone. Method three, stop sharing location on iPhone using iOS locations Uber app. Okay guys, in this part, I will show you how you can change the GPS location on your iPhone instead of completely disabling it. Your iPhone will display the location of your choice and the person tracking you won't get any kind of clue that you are faking your location on your iPhone. You will need a computer app for that, which you can download from the Easy Phone Recovery website or type the Easy Phone Recovery Fake GPS location in Google search or check the video description for download links. The app works perfectly with iOS 17 and later. So I'm now here on my computer. Open the app. Make sure you plug in your iPhone. Click Get Started. Then click OK. It's gonna install Apple Driver. 
then it's gonna ask you to unplug or replug your iPhone. Then you should now be good to go. To change the location, this app offers many options like teleport mode, jump teleport, two spots, multi-spot, and the last one is the joystick mode. Now let's use the teleport mode. On the search bar, let's try to search Georgetown University. But of course, you can search for any place where you want to move. You can also copy the coordinates values like the longitude and latitude. I'm going to show you how to get the coordinates in Google Maps. I'm going to search Georgetown University, then go to Maps, and then left click, and then left click the first one. Then let's go back to the app and paste the coordinates in the search bar. Click this, then click move. Then this pops up just saying close other location based app before changing your location. Then click move. Then now I just moved to Georgetown University. To verify it, let's go to my iPhone. Open your Find My app. As you can see, I am now here at Georgetown University. And the good thing about this is that people who are tracking you won't get any notification that you are faking your location or doing something suspicious. Remember guys, that the location will stay even if you disconnect your iPhone from the computer. To get back your real location, click the reset button on the computer software or restart your iPhone. Now let's use the multi-spot mode to fake your real-time location. You can select multiple locations on the map You can adjust your speed here to make it more realistic as you are walking, riding a bike, or a car. And then click move. The way it works is the app will simulate GPS movement along the route you've created, making it appear as you though you're moving through each of the selected locations. Let me open the map in my iPhone. Then you'll see that the point is moving, right? Before ending this video guys, I would like to tell you that you can also use this computer software to install a location spoofer app directly on your iPhone using the toolbox feature. But right now, it's not working with iOS 17. I will update you guys by posting a comment in this video whenever it starts working with iOS 17 and later. That's it guys, that's how to stop sharing location on your iPhone without notifying anyone or getting caught. Before ending this video guys, just a disclaimer, this video is for educational purposes only. I don't want someone to use these techniques to cheat on somebody or break any laws. So guys, if you like my video, please hit thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching guys, have a nice day and see you in my next video. Bye bye.